What is going on guys? We are about to fish the ICAST Cup today on Lake Toho. So it is ICAST week. We are in what, the second or third week of July? Something like that. ICAST is always in July. So I fished this tournament the past couple years, always fished it out of my boat, but now that I'm living in North Carolina, I took a flight down here to ICAST. So I'm gonna be hopping on the boat with my buddy Donnie from Boat Outfitters today. He's been out on the lake a little bit practicing. He fished a tournament here a couple weeks ago and actually did pretty good at 25 pounds one day and I think like 17 the second day. So he's around a couple fish. Hopefully we'll be able to catch some of them today, but it's only a four hour tournament. So really quick tournament, kind of like a kickoff to ICAST, uh, but it's always a lot of fun and it's a three fish limit. So just looking for three fish today. Just need to get three big ones, but it usually takes like over 20 pounds to win. So definitely need a couple of big bites today uh, to get it done. But always wanted to take home that ICAST Cup trophy. So we'll see what we can do today. But showing up with absolutely no tackle. So whatever Tony's got in the boat is what I'm using today. I'm in a little rental car here. So I did not bring any fishing rods, anything. Literally booked like a $50 flight to get down here with a backpack. So that's how we're rolling this week but what we do have is the deep dive app so I'm gonna pull that up and kind of see what we're working with uh, on Lake Toho here for this week try to get a little bit of info on the lake obviously I've fished Toho a million times being from Florida so definitely lake I'm familiar with but haven't been on it for maybe a year so let's see what let's see what the deep dive app's got to say look at the wind because that's that's usually a pretty big factor on where you want to fish so looks like today the wind is fairly light so it's blowing out of the south biggest wind we're gonna have so the tournament ends at 10 30. most wind we're gonna have is five miles an hour so gonna have a little bit of wind which is good but nothing crazy so pretty much everything's gonna be fishable i think donnie found a couple of little offshore areas hydrilla spots so probably worm chatterbait stuff like that but let's see what baits the the deep dive app lets us uh tells us to use so frog creature bait swim jig flipping jig wacky rig top water nico buzz bait bladed jig a couple different options i think that's on shallow so on deep dive app you can put your conditions in so that was for shallow and uh, we've got aquatic vegetation. There's definitely some aquatic vegetation on Toho. And then so we can actually change it to offshore and see what options it has. So it gives us a couple different options. Carolina rig, 10 inch worm, uh, shaky head, hair jig, football, drop shots. So I don't exactly know what Donnie's got planned for us today. Uh, I think we're gonna be probably doing mostly offshore, but we'll see what he has We'll see what he has uh, in store for us today, but there's the report from the deep dive app. So we are a couple minutes out from Big Toho Marina, stopped by Wawa to grab a few things, but let's head over there and meet Donnie and uh, jump on the boat with him. What's up? Steve's Christian Greco. Hey, how you hey, doing? Thanks. Christian, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What do you want me to throw? Uh, you throw a swim jig, kind of bait, worm. Pick your poison. Who makes these worms? I got one too. Feels decent. Yeah, he's good. Oh, he just come off. The drag is loose on this. Yeah. Oh, I got a solid hook set, but the drag just went out when I set the hook. <laughs> Should have checked it, but I didn't think about it. It was a good hook set. It just slipped. Out. I set into him. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It was like a five. That was, oh, yeah. that was going. That was a good fit. <laughs> yeah. I saw the boil and I went, oh, yeah. That was a good fit. All right, let's go for broke, boys. Head to Cypress. Head to Cypress. 
That's where my nine pounder is. Seven twenty, so that chatter bait up throw it out and uh what do you think swim jig or chatter if you want to throw the chatter i'll throw the swim jigs there's hydrilla on the bottom okay go on pick rule is that pick rule Good one to hit. That one, that one, that one. They are about one. Got one. A giant. <laughs> Did they 12 inches? Yeah, he's 12 inches. Yeah. Oh, we just need two nines and we'll be good. There we go. <laughs> All they say. Roll back. Bad luck. Absolutely. Start biting now. Got one. No. Got a limit. Didn't get. Didn't get skunked. I was just dragging it. Again? Yep. That's how I would have hooked the big one if the drag wasn't loose. <laughs> <laughs> My cousin goes, why didn't you check the drag? <laughs> you have to fish with someone else next to you. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen for 44 other boats, too. Yeah, we did this one. Hey, not a bad idea. <laughs> not a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Awesome trolling mode. Push it heavier. Steamboat Outfitters. Steven Bates. Christian Gresham. Can you read that Steven. one for us? Can you read that weight for us? Uh, 20 <laughs> pounds. <laughs> Sound good? Yeah, I think it was like 20 pounds, but we'll take that. Three <laughs> bass. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. It's pushing 20. It's pretty close. <laughs> they go 3 pounds and 14 <laughs> ounces, but here's what I noticed. Everybody's got a smile on their face, man. Oh yeah, we had a good time out there. It's always fun. I mean, this is this is good competition, but nothing really on the line. So we just went out there and had a good time. That's what a lot of this is about, man. I mean, I get it. It's fishing tournaments, so that competitive juice always gets going. But we're here to have fun today, man. Oh yeah, I mean, definitely would have loved to have caught three big ones and won the tournament, but still, it's still fun. Yes, sir. How about you, man? I mean, Mother Nature's blessed with a beautiful day. We had some wind today, which was nice. This isn't a normal Florida summer yet, but uh, it's getting there, and uh, yeah, had a good day today, and uh, we'll come back next year and get more. That's what I'm talking 